if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 45, Abyss Inc. Survival Difficulty, Class 1. Safe, Secure, Minimal Entity Count. Level 45 is the 46th level of the back rooms. It is composed of various skyscrapers floating weightlessly in an inky void. Description Level 45 is an inky void sparsely populated by floating skyscrapers that appear to be near exact copies of buildings that can be found in the front rooms. The exact number of skyscrapers that have been discovered so far is 33. These skyscrapers are arranged in a radial pattern centering around a building which is structurally identical to the Empire State Building of the Front Rooms, New York City. Buildings close to the center of this radial pattern have a constant flow of electricity and are completely free of entities, other than those brought in by the BRC, while buildings farther out have frequent blackouts and infestations of death moths. The population of the death moths are kept in check by Level 45's other native entity, the Curabiter Bird. These creatures float through the abyss and create an almost star-like pattern of yellow bioluminescent lights. Each skyscraper in level 45 creates its own local field of gravity that is relative to the orientation of the structure. Any object that is thrown out of the building will float weightlessly until it comes into the influence of another skyscraper's gravity. It should be noted that this weightless effect does not extend to most living things. If a human or an entity were to drop off the edge of one of these skyscrapers, they would continue to be affected by gravity in the direction of the skyscraper which they had just exited. Unless intercepted, they would proceed to fall into the abyss, and from this point it is unknown what becomes of them. The interiors of each building are fully furnished with what is assumed to be exactly what was inside each building when it was copied. This includes everything from computers, to water coolers, to houseplants and more. Unfortunately, none of it is actually functional, as close inspection reveals every item to be elaborate styrofoam sculptures. This has necessitated any groups looking to take advantage of the relative safety of level 45 to bring their own equipment from other areas of the back rooms. Currently, the only way to safely travel between buildings are through fire escapes. Rather than leading outside, each fire escape acts as a consistent gateway to a nearby skyscraper. Bases, outposts, and communities. The back rooms research consortium HQ. This is the main outpost of the BRC. The community is composed of many labs and offices inside of the Faux Empire State Building dedicated to general research of backrooms phenomena. The lower floors of the HQ contain hostile entities brought in from other levels for experimentation. Entrances and Exits Entrances This level is accessible from the hub. The exit near the oak tree in level 90 occasionally leads here. Exits Leaving through the front entrance of the Faux Empire State Building will put you back in the hub.